All right, guys. So uh, the first thing we're going to want to do with changing the oil that uh, I started up and I let it warm up that engine oil so it's way easier to pretty much the flow comes out a lot faster. So we're going to warm this up, bring it back in, and then uh, we will start the oil change. All right, so I'm going to go step by step here and tell you exactly how I do this. Now, the things you're gonna need for this is you're going to need two quarts of oil. Um, I personally use the Kawasaki 1040 synthetic blend. You're gonna need your oil filter. Uh, once again, I personally use the Kawasaki oil filters. This number for the filter for the grandstand of the FX691V uh, is 49065-7007. And then <clears throat> while we're at it, uh, I'm gonna let you know that my fuel filter that's right here, this usually gets changed uh, about every 100 hours is when I change it. My air filter, I check every 50 hours when I change my oil. Now the manual recommends every 100, I personally do it every 50. I feel better about that, so that's when I do it. So uh, let's jump right into this and show you how I do this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to check the air filter here. The fuel filter is not due for another 50, or yeah, for another 50 hours. Uh, the air filter we're gonna check, and then we will jump into this oil change. Air filter. Very easy to check. Uh, now there is two parts to this. You do have a pre-filter as well, but uh, you can tell this is pretty dirty. <clears throat> this is why I check it. Number 50, twist it, pull out, and we're going to uh, change this. I don't know if y'all can see all that or not, but it's pretty, pretty dirty. Ooh. Our pre-filter, Seems to be pretty clean still. Not too bad on it, so we're gonna leave that in there. Now you can buy these with the pre-filter, without the pre-filter. <clears throat> now for the filter, I buy the Stins, and this is air filter number 102-305. And we're going to put the new one in there. Slide it in, push, twist a little bit, and then take our cover and pop it back on. So a couple things you're gonna want here when doing this is you're gonna want a bowl of some sort to stick down in here, maybe your drain pan or something like that is big enough to fit down in here. I drop the deck down to two inches so I can set my bowl in here to catch all the used oil like so. Then you've got your two quarts of oil, your oil filter, filter pliers, and you're also going to need two 11 16 wrenches is how I do it. So uh, I'm gonna show you a hack with how to, easy way to get this off. All right, y'all ready for the hack? Here it comes. <clears throat> very easy, very simple. I hate scratching my stuff up. <clears throat> so I'll take a rag and I'll put it over this right here <clears throat> to where it wraps around. Now, the fun part of this is you've got your two 11 16 wrenches you're going to take like this to where it's angled and put this part on like so. And as you put it on, here's what you're going to do. You're going to move this under this uh, piece right here and lock it pretty much if that, if that makes any sense to you. So now when I go to loosen this bolt, this wrench will not move. So I can literally hold this wrench in place like this or like this. It is locked underneath like so. So 
so it's locked like this to where it's not going to pull up. <clears throat> so I'm just going to pull back on it a little bit here. And that way I can take all of my effort and I can push on this wrench. <clears throat> Got it locked in. Just pull a little bit. And just like that, your old drain plug is now loose. So we'll pull our wrench back off. Pull our bolt out and drain the oil, which is what I like doing first. And I don't let the uh, plug get in the way. So we'll wipe this off, set it off to the side here. And now we will let that drain. So now that our oil is done draining, uh, one thing I did fail to mention is when I pull this uh, or before I pull this, I actually loosen the cap up here and that way it gives it better airflow to, you know, come out easier. So we're going to put the plug back in. We're not going to tighten it up just yet. I'm just going to put it in, snug it up with my hands, and we're going to move our oil over here. Out of the way. <clears throat> now we're going to go to the oil filter. Now that our oil is drained out, our filter uh, is still going to have some oil in it. So I recommend getting some uh, So I recommend getting some napkins or uh, paper towels of some sort and folding them up. And we're going to put this right here underneath. Because most of this oil that drains out is going to hit this little drain cover and come out. And then it's just going to soak right into this. That way I can pull it off and put it in the upright position and then put my new one back on after I wipe all this off. So let's uh, do that. So we're gonna grab our filter wrench. And put on here. And then you're just gonna grip it and turn upwards. Now we're gonna twist this off and pull it up in the upright position. As you can tell, like I said, that oil upright position here. Dump it out. <clears throat> May need to get some more paper towels. Of course, the one time I do this on video, it's still got quite a bit of oil in it. But the good thing is, is it didn't drip down on my deck. So we're good on that. At least not yet. Did get a little bit down there. Wipe that up. Wipe this up off of this. All right, now we're gonna wipe this up. So now, the number one thing you always want to make sure of when doing this is you wanna make sure that this gasket has stayed on your oil filter and not here on the lip of this. Because if you double gasket this filter and accidentally leave the old one on or it sticks to it and stays on, then uh, you're gonna have some issues when you go to start it because it's going to start leaking all over the place. So always check and make sure your filter's on there. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna take our new filter here and we're gonna put it on, but before we do, we're going to do something to this. All right, so we got the new filter, and before we put this new filter on, 
the number one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this old oil. Let me show you here. I'm going to take some of this old oil and I'm going to dab my finger in it and I'm going to lube this gasket up. And this is going to help to keep this gasket from sticking on the next time as well. So we're just going to put some oil on there and now we're going to put it on. And all I do with these is literally uh, hand tighten it. So I'll grab a rag and I will literally hand tighten this. I do not use a filter wrench or anything uh, <clears throat> to tighten this. I literally tighten it with my hand as snug as I can get it. And then I'll take a rag and I'll put around it to get a little more traction here per se. And I'll tighten it a little more. So now that the filter's on, we're going to grab a funnel and grab our oil and we're going to put two quarts of oil in this. Then I'm going to start it up, let it run for about a minute to fill the filter and stuff. And then we will check the oil. Now I'm going to leave this plug. I'm not going to tighten it yet because if I do happen to, let's say all the oil didn't drain out and it does happen to be a little over full, then I got easy access to this plug to just pull it and drain a little bit out and put it back in without having to untighten it and uh, retighten it again. So let's get a filter. All right, so now we got a funnel. Uh, the first thing I always do is wipe out my funnel, make sure that there's no dirt or debris in here, that when I start pouring this oil, it could happen to get in the engine. Also, we're gonna wipe off the top here as well. Stick our funnel in there, and we're gonna add two quarts of oil. And you know you always wanna give it a couple little squeezes, make sure you get every little bit out. Every drop counts. Now I'm gonna get my paper towel, that way anything left in this funnel, I can literally set it on here without dripping it all over the place. Now I'm gonna take my stick here, stick it back down in there, I'm going to tighten it up. I'm going to start the mower up, let it run for a minute, and then we're going to check the oil. Now we let it run. We're going to pull this back off. We're going to wipe it off. And all you're going to simply do, this is where it gets fun, is you don't tighten this back in. You stick it down in there and then pull it right back out. So you stick it down in there, pull it right back out, and see where your oil level's at. And as you can tell, we are woo, full, right at full. So, now that that's done, last step, we're gonna take and we're gonna tighten our plug back up here. I'm gonna grab my wrench, put back on. And I'm gonna wedge it in here. Because even, even Titan, it's against this. So, and it plus it's you know still secured here. So now I'm gonna take my other wrench, put on, and we're going to tighten this. So here we go. Right guys, so now that all of that is done, last step pull the deck back up, set my deck height back to where I normally have it. And that is gonna do it. It is that simple to change the oil, the filter, and even your uh, fuel filter is very easy on these as well. So maintenance on these, very simplified. So I hope this helps you. Uh, this is gonna work for most of your Kawasaki engines. It's gonna be the exact same way pretty much except you're gonna have a different filter and you may possibly wanna use different oil depending on your area, region, things of that nature. So thanks for watching guys. Once again, I hope this helped you and uh, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you soon.